Oh, what? Hey there, handsome. Excuse me? <clears throat> I cannot even right now. Okay. Hold on. Give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? <laughs> she is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. Come on, it's just not so bad. <laughs> Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Date? See window. Abstract painting. This painting is called Hawaiian Dishes and Dark Demons. I don't see it. Which part is supposed to be a dish and which part is supposed to be a demon? There's an incomprehensible abstract painting just laid on the wall. There's the logo. Alright. Sofa. Captain, enemy vessel, three clicks. I believe you are thinking of sonar. Low table. Let's see, are there any ants here this time? Date, look! A cricket! Mm. I guess a strange fascination with insects. Blank monitor, nothing's on it. No magazines. And how to draw cute anime girls. I think I'll give that a look. Hiding machine, high table. That's high a high stool. stool. Why are you always thinking about high school? <laughs> I said stool. Door. Monitor. Oh, this is Dark Zone Kalimas! Who? I remember one of the places in Matsushita Diner had a, an autograph of a celebrity from, from this. Apparently, this is Dark Zone Kalimas. Alright. Reception desk. Let's talk to Mizuki. Do you know this receptionist? I mean, yeah, but... Yeah! Of course we know each other! We're like, best friends! <laughs> we hang out! We party! We do not party. <laughs> hey, hey! Who hired this woman? The most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. So we're Renju then. Renju. Of course. What's going to happen to the office? No, oh, haven't heard anything about that yet. The VP might take over. We might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job too, man. What am I gonna do if this place closes up? So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate, hmm? Well, I... I... We could go out sometime. Wow, dude. <laughs> you disgust me. Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. I've been pretty serious around here lately. Yeah, totally. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? Like, what are even the chances? That's like the odds of hitting the lotto. But it was kind of lucky in a weird way. How so? Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know? Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. 
Yeah. I uh, happen to see a, a, a Oda here. Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota too. <laughs> Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. <laughs> Those are the ones you have to watch out for. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. I took out my business card and handed it over to to the receptionist. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Let's look, her receptionist hiding behind the desk. Huge breasts. It's the same. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's the same. Have you seen Iris? Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Underground studio? Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. <laughs> hey, Mizuki. Uh, yeah, let's go, I suppose. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. Where should we go next? It's to the last place we haven't been yet. That would be Golden Yokocho. <clears throat> Is this it? Yeah. You know about this look, place? It doesn't look like much. Yeah, this is where I met Renju for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Shut up. Huh? Let's head inside. Ah. It's a bar. Where is okay. everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the capital city highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. All right, let's take a look around. The counter, TV. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? What was so good about it? Man, I could use a drink. No, you're driving. Can't you just drive? Indeed I can, but I refuse. Why? <laughs> Nothing good comes of you being drunk. Yeah, that TV show must have been like a Baywatch for reference. Right, sh shelves. 
look at the menu. There's writing on the back. Yeah. Ooh, beer tap. I don't want to get drunk. I just want to be sobriety impaired. Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. It's not stupid. Beer tap. Picture on the wall. It's a little odd. There's the radio. Refrigerator. Hey, Mizuki. You mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Not gonna happen. Some bottles on the counter. Let's count them. Nine. Nine bottles. There are nine bottles on the counter. Just kidding, there's 18. That, 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 that's how many there are. Let's count carefully. There are 18 bottles lined up on the counter. Blackboard. There's specials written on the blackboard. S s s slippers and tomato soup. Posters. The talented Mr. Dickley. I wonder what that is. Flyer. S a sofa. Table. Blackboard, some hangers. Stool. Alright, Ms. Key, what's up? <sighs> are you tired? No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me, you just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush, just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. <clears throat> it's been a long time since we did this. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Huh? Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content, but not emotional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. We should at least have one meal together. I told you I don't want to. Why not? Because... Um... I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. <laughs> really now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. <laughs> Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine, I don't like hearing you talk either. Well, okay. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be rough. Are you having fun at school? It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. <laughs> nah, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> about Renju? Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Hmm. Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. 
In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Hmm. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. So he asked me. At the time, okay. Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. Okay. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Date, honey! Long time no see. There we are. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Oh. <laughs> Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't gonna solve a thing, is it? Go ahead. Ask away. I'll help any way I can. I have everything to look at again. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian. On January 20th, 288 AD, he was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now, of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah. It was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. Hmm. Blackboard. Yeah. Poster, one floor of the cock's nest. Sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. Wire. Okay. Sofa. Table. Hanger. Board. Alright. Let's take a look at TV. Shells. <laughs> Menu, beer tap. Hey, Date, you hear the one about the drunk ballerina? No, what about her? She quit the ballet because she was always more interested in tap. <laughs> the bottle of oh, Mama, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Excuse you. Fritrator that honestly does kind of look a lot like Mama. I think that's everything. She's curling up a little. Maybe she's intimidated by Mama. Are you scared of Mama? Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. That's a pretty wide range. <laughs> Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Is this your first time in a place like this? Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. Well, I would hope not. You're in elementary school. <laughs> well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning on going one day when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. Hmm. That's not going to happen anymore, though. How about Mama? 
I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. <laughs> Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Alright, this is for Renju. I promise. Hizuki seems to be wary of Mama. Right, how's business? Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. Tossing a dried bonito fish, okay. Part of your daily routine. Come to think of it, I have no idea why. I think I'll ask her one day when the time is right. Is Renju a regular here? I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? I'll pass, thanks. And about Renju. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Hmm. A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, <clears throat> were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. What else do you remember about Renju? Well, there was the watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? I pulled out the watch I had in my pocket. It was one I found in the oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Mm-hmm. Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Okay. Daddy had a new lover. He never told her about it. I'm going to the bathroom. The bathroom? Yeah, this place is small. The bathrooms are outside. Take care. I gave her a nod and a wave and left. Iba, get boss on the line. Go. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Yeah, probably a good idea. Hmm. 
in Kumakura office at 3.22 p.m. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? <laughs> so, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. Alright, let's take a look. Jeez. Lockers near the window. Permit. Company motto. If you accidentally enter a bar instead of a restaurant, don't feel obligated to order a drink. Even if the bartender gives you that order a damn drink look, that's quite the motto. A company of philosophy is like the summary of the ideals and goals of that company. A whiteboard last month's schedule is written on the board. 21st. Falcon's beatboxing for beginners. <laughs> Remember B. This, this skinny one. He's completely out. Hey, I have a look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. It is clearly a tiger. Metal door, the entrance, the partition. Scare the view from visitors. Hey, Iba, it's pronounced partition and not partition. I know how it's pronounced. More lockers. Chair. Desk. There's a ton of things on top. Another door in his next room. All right, let's talk to this guy if we can. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Is that one? He's holding his stomach in pain. I actually cannot. I'll look at the knife first. The knife one of them was carrying. The kind that knifes nicely at night. It just might. All right, let's talk to you. I got nothing to say to you. Okay. Uh, do window. It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Scary lanterns. Scary lanterns. You don't have to repeat it. There are lanterns with Kumakura written on them. Bronze dragon. A bronze dragon holding a golden ball. Golden ball, huh? Hmm. Dragon holding a golden ball. Crest. Concur crest. Shrine. Sh Shinto shrine. What does a guy like the chairman need this for? He probably just uses it for porn. <laughs> Not every man in the world is like you, Date. Chairman's desk. Keyboard. Mouse. Squeak, squeak. 
<laughs> Wait, hold on. Did you make that mouse squeaking sound? I did. Wasn't it cute? Have you fallen back in love with me? Back in love? <laughs> PC mouse. Alright. Phone on the desk. I think that's everything here. Yeah, okay, let's talk to him. Man's hitting the chairman. Speed his name is Moma. Oh, well, where's the chairman? <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. <laughs> Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. Mm. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide? But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago? Hmm. Okay. Uh, about Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. You sure? I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Shoko is part of an investment fraud scheme. And I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. What about Renju? I told you, I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Date, a minute, please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? Yeah. There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa and ashtray. Me with Mama later. Should be focused on something else. So fun, Ashray. Chairman's chair. Alright. They're both warm, which means that uh, somebody else was just here and probably went into that doorway. If I had to guess. Zoom. The, the thermo. Yeah. Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. One of the cushions is still warm. And the ashtray. An ashtray. I see a few cigarette butts in it. I want to find out when that smoker finished it. The tip is reddish. Hey, Iba, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. Hmm. Okay. So, Klein. There's someone here recently. What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. All right, I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa. And neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here. 
And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means, whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? I just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. <laughs> just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere mm -hmm. behind that wall. It's x-ray through here. Yeah, there they are. Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My revolver can shoot right through this wall. I should shoot him. Oh, Wait! No. Hmm. Is he not getting enough? <laughs> what? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of a revolver in this situation. Damn it. at your feet what <laughs> oh there's there's quick time events in this hey did you just shoot at me Jeez. Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Okay. You saved me. Everything happened as I simulated it. So, where's this porno mag? <laughs> you idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? <laughs> it worked. It, it definitely worked. You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit! Hey, coward! I see you! Show your face! I know you! Sejima, so, Congressman. What is this guy doing here? Hmm. 
congressman here, huh? Stop looking at me like that. What about Rohan? I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Six years ago, he, uh... He got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna know more? Hire a private eye. I do have a private eye. Uh, do you have an alibi for yesterday and the day before? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. Okay. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. Okay. About Shoko again. Ah. <sighs> Well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier, when I said I didn't know her. I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoko was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. And what about Renju? I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. Hmm. But now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something... You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way, he paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Give me glare. Alright, these guys are still out. And what about you? What was it? Let's look at the Gatling gun here. An old fashioned Gatling gun. Shells. Okay, you. Do you have an alibi for yesterday and the day before? I went to work, then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. Can't trust that. And what are you doing here? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. A member of Congress. It seems so often on TV, it feels like I've been in before. About Shoko. The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. What about Renju? The president of Lemniscate? We aren't friends. 
but I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. Mm. Date, a call from Lemniscate. From the receptionist? Connected. Yep. Date, it's me! Um, you remember, like, how you said to call you if Ota came? Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? <laughs> Let's go, Iva. Roger. All right, let's head back to Lemna's Gate. This is all really suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree, but I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Oh, oh, okay. Steering wheel, dashboard, center console, glove box, rear view mirror, gear shift. All right, Iva. Who are you? Who are you? Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? <laughs> so shiny, too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? <laughs> Do I look like Renju? Izuki? It's me. Boss? Date, seriously. Then, are you... Mom? <laughs> idiot. They must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here, looking like that? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. <laughs> you do realize I do that all the time, right? Apparently, Iba is sitting in the passenger seat. <clears throat> How about your appearance? Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. <laughs> I will not. Why not? Because I won't. I'm gonna have to get used to this look. <laughs> I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. I just wanted to change my look a little. Think of it as a haircut. Pretty drastic haircut. So and Momo are suspicious. <clears throat> As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious, but there is nothing currently linking them to the case. That's true. We have no established motive. Victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling, and their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. And they both wanted Mizuki to see them. 
It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Tsujima and the Kumakuras. They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. That would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. How is Ho related to the Kumakuras? I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Please. Mr. Sejima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. <laughs> but 20 years ago, so Sejima lived elsewhere, in the Kawasaki district to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion of the chemical plant. This caused Kabasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically. Hmm. What are your thoughts? So they sold the land before the explosion which tanked prices. The timing is certainly suspicious. Yeah. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. Hmm. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like he got anything out of it. That would be true, but there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed, Ugh, we will have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Hmm. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? My is name this? is Akasuka, from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier, from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Hmm. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. Hmm. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon, before Renju was killed. In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think there's anything to this? I mean, he could know who it is. I don't know. I could help with this case. Alright, back to Lemon's Gate about 6 p.m. I'm gonna go talk to, to Oda. Oh, Date. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I just found out online. The corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Mm-hmm. Mizuki saw her own mom. And I just... I just left her. But I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. 
I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Thanks for the call. No problem. After all, it means we get to see each other again. I'm glad. Hey, uh, do you want to get food sometime? Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? I kind of like that. And I kind of like you. Oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. I'm a reptilian. Is that going to be a problem? What's a reptilian? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Oh, too bad. <laughs> You're cute. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> oh, thank you. But despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. I couldn't get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. Wow, okay. You're kidding. <laughs> Uh, where's Iris? She's recording a podcast right now. She, she's still recording it? her schedule. It should end soon. Okay. The girl with the big tits is hiding behind the counter. Yes, that's why I decided to call her. Uh, not to her face, of course. Hey, girl with the big tits. Um, excuse me? Shit, I said it to her face. <laughs> I want to run away and never look back. Hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at everything else here. And, uh, that one is called "Lying, Wishing, Marking Demons." Date, Plant. look, a little stink bug. Yay, a stink bug. <laughs> On the skate plant. Oh, Monitor. that's Rundoyer. Who is that? Rundoyer. Okay. Door. Drinks. Uh, how to get rich with cryptocurrency? High table. High, high That's just a high stool. What about high school? I said stool. Okay. <laughs> Uh, One more bowl, please. That would be soba. Low table. All right, let's uh, let's talk to Oda. So where have you been? Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. I don't know your normal routine. I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases. Then I ate some ramen at Jiro's, and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. Okay. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. How about Mizuki? Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. I have no reason to hide it, but... It's sort of hard to explain. Yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her, um, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. <laughs> if I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. Okay. What kind of novels are you writing, kid? <laughs> Soda. Alright. Uh, what Renju's case? Uh, I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. 
Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. Okay. That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. <laughs> you don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? W wait, it's no big deal. I just... You better start talking. Okay. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Someone was with him. A man. No. A woman. Um. Okay. Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Hmm. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. But Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. She might know something, Idols though. don't kill people. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. Savior? The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing, and it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. I mean, it could still be the case. Oh, I didn't say she was the murderer. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. What? Do it for Iris. Please. Well, what time did Virginia and Iris leave the building? Around 6.15, I guess. Okay. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. Hmm. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Oh, hey. Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me.